All right, so I'll get screws. They have square screws. I keep finding square a bit. I used to have some because it's a mobile home, so I would have some somewhere. And I don't have a torch to cut them out. But what do I have? Yeah, the poor man's torch. Say hello to my little friend. So I'm staying behind me. This front door here seriously needs to get replaced. We're trying. We're hoping to have the budget for a door to replace this one with. We really need to have our front door. Our back door is less, less than adequate. And so we dealt with it for at least a winter, maybe two. And um, I really would like to get that door on the back closed off. Now I've got multiple projects started on this poor old homestead, but a lot of them are budget related. And the renovation of this beautiful home is one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, for the underpinning, I need, I'm going to use T111. It's 5 8 We got a gentleman that sells it for $25 a sheet. I could get Four sheets for a hundred dollars, and that could very well underpin the house. But when you have a project as big as this, you have to prioritize things. Four sheets of underpinning for a hundred bucks, or a door for three hundred bucks. You can't crawl in and out through the house in the underpinning. It stops the airflow. I got the biggest hole covered now. I did that last winter. Or earlier this year or something. I did it in with some time. So I got that section of the underpinnings done. And I've got access door to the under the house on that, on that corner. That was, like I said, average about three foot off the ground. So I've got that hole basically covered. Well, I was under the house wrapping the insulation on the pipes to try to keep them from freezing. And I'm working on that project in Luckily, the components are not as expensive. But while I was under there, I noticed that part of my floor that I thought I had insulated wasn't insulated. So, quite the dilemma there. What I got to do is I got to insulate that floor. A bundle of insulation is like 80 bucks. A couple sheets of plywood. I don't know. They're quarter inch plywood is what I'm using. So, it's around 25 bucks a sheet. So at least two, maybe three, maybe three sheets of plywood at least. That's what I need. Okay. So what do you do? You do the best you can with what you got and keep on plugging along. I got to get the pipes fixed. But I also want to get this door on. So today, I am working on that project. And part of the door project is this deck. I'm going to guess that the people that put this deck in were on low budget too, but they wanted a deck for the front front door. We want a, a awning or roof over the porch. We don't want as big a porch as this because it's bug season. If it's nice enough to sit out here, you're going to have bugs. So we don't really want to sit out here. We, we don't do that. So what I want to do Let's take this porch down eventually. I think it could survive for a day or two, but it needs to come down. What I do want to do is get that stone door off. And it's a combination of bolts. It's, uh, it's a square head screw for some of it. And then it's uh, like quarter inch bolts, screw in bolts, metal, sheet metal bolts. But we want to go below the gutter. Uh, what they call a gutter. We want to go below that. This one right up here. We want to go below that. And put a roof on out this way. We don't need a big porch. What I want to do. The door. The new door is going to be three feet wide. So what I want to do. Is put like a two foot shelf on this side. And a two foot shelf on that side. And to make the numbers even. Make it eight foot. And then come out maybe four. Maybe four feet. That should work. And if I do it that way, I could deck it out in a piece of uh, treated plywood 
one sheet of p tree to plywood and make a good deck. And these boards here, I could take them out and I could reuse them. And if I think they're good enough, I could probably reuse them for the deck instead of buying plywood. But I have to take these all out. I'm either gonna have to I'm either gonna have to pull the screws out with a Phillips head, or I'm gonna have to cut them out with a sawzall. Screws are hard to cut. But anyway, my main goal today is to try to get this door, the stone door down. That's the main thing I'm gonna try to do. Alright, so every door is a little bit different. This stone door attached to the side of the house with sheet mask screws. And then there was some square head screws. Uh, several places down through here. So I got all them taken care of. But this hollow frame has a wooden insert. So, it's not going to come down until I actually get a door here. Because I don't want to take a chance on ripping the door frame out. And messing up what little bit of air blockage that we have going on here. So, I am as far along with this project as I can go. Because apparently, that piece of trim is inside... That piece of trim. Okay. It's worked for 30 years. Why wouldn't it work a couple more? Hopefully I can get it out. I, uh, I can get it out once I get the door in here to where I can install the door. Because once I open this up, then it's going to be opened up to the world. So that's not what we want to do. We want to put a door right back in when we take the door out. All right. 